What I like to do is make a soup and pull out my slow cooker and allow that to keep the soup warm and then have lots of different toppings. It's like a soup bar in a way, which I think is kind of homey. I'm peeling my parsnips from my white velvet soup and I've already chopped an onion. I'm peeling my fourth parsnip here. There's something very comforting about soup during the holidays. And this soup in particular is so good. What we want to do is cut the ends off the parsnip. We're just going to dice it up just like you do carrots. And it's very similar to a carrot. It looks like a carrot, but it's sort of denser and a little bit starchier. So what we want to do is just dice it up. Parsnip's done. Now we're going to do two celery stalks. And the celery is sort of a neutral flavor, but it adds a nice body. It's sort of an essential in most soups. Onion, carrot, and celery is the flavor base of a soup. Okay, and now one of my favorite vegetables, fennel. Again, fennel has a little bit of a licorice flavor, so it's really yummy. And for the holidays, I really like it in here. And again, it adds a nice body and adds flavor and freshness to the soup. We use it a lot in Italy and we make all sorts of things with it, and it's just one of my favorites. Even just raw in a salad is fantastic. Great. Now, I'm gonna start cooking up all my vegetables here. A little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Turn on the stove. We'll just add all the veggies in here. The onion, the parsnip, and you can make this soup in advance and just keep it in the fridge and just warm it up the day of, which is so fantastic. The trick to good entertaining is to make as much of the meal and as many of the dishes in advance as possible. And then a little bit of salt. And we're just gonna give this a nice stir. And you kind of just want the vegetables to cook down just a little bit first before you add the liquid. Great. I'm gonna grab some fennel and some bay leaf. Wanna add some flavoring agents and four cups of water. And then we're gonna flavor it with the bay leaf and some fennel seeds to kind of reinforce that licorice -y flavor. We're gonna add one bay leaf. It's very herby. It'll help give flavor to the soup, especially since we used water instead of chicken broth. And we're gonna use half a teaspoon of fennel seeds. And fennel seeds you can buy at the grocery store. They're just like this, they're little seeds, and they're dried, and they have a nice sort of licorice flavor to them. So half a teaspoon right in there. So now, I want to put the lid on, and we're going to let this cook until the vegetables are nice and tender. I'm finishing up pureeing all the vegetables for my soup. So what we want to do is add some almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, about 3 quarters of a cup for the entire batch. And this will give it sort of that velvety thickness that I love. So we're just gonna put the lid on. You wanna make sure and puree the soup when it's um, cooled down a little bit. You don't wanna do it when it's piping hot. There we go. You wanna puree it until all the vegetables are nice and smooth. So you get this nice, white, thick soup. Look at that, it's so pretty. Okay. So my soup is done. My cremonata is done. I'm just gonna chill my soup until I'm ready to put it in the crock pot for later. If you ask me, there's nothing homier than a soup bar. And that's another little trick of mine to making guests feel right at home. What I like to do with the soup because it's a white soup is I wanna have lots of different colorful toppings. So we do bacon, you do little cornbread croutons, you do some cheese, you do some herbs. And what I like to do is make a little grimolata, which sort of brightens up a dish. That's what we use in Italy for. I just chop parsley, some lemon zest, some pomegranates, and some salt, and I mix that together. The grimolata is sort of the freshness that goes on top of the soup. For a real homey and casual feel, I like to serve the soup in mugs. A lot of people have a collection of mugs, and you could do a combination of different types of mugs, and you could put them all out during the holidays and use those as a way to serve the soup, which I think is kind of nice and fun.